hello everyone welcome back once again i welcome all of you to bisp video learning series python tutorial for beginners in today's tutorial i will be going to tell you how to launch site using django in previous tutorial i have explained you how to configure django on a local machine so i'm going to launch the same folder same site so you can see i have already redirected so I have already switched to my, my site folder. That's the my site folder, and that's my site. And whenever we create a my site folder within that, we have four files in in its settings, URLs, and this. And to test whether this site is working properly or not, using D Django, by simple right here, Python manage dot py run server. So as you can see here, I'm getting in. There is no error message, but there is no actually error. But it's saying that your app may not work properly until they are applied. Run Python manage py dot migrate. So I simply ex exit it and I write here Python manage dot py migrate. And once the migration is done successfully, migration is basically for the changes. If any changes has been done. That migration is used for that to just apply all the changes, and then I execute run the command Python manage dot run server here. Now there is no, there are no error, and now we can test it by going into 127 HTTP 127.0.0.1 and so this much we have done in the previous session. In this tutorial. I just wanted to log in into this admin login so that we can create a new site into that. So when I press admin, it says it's a Django administration, but we don't have username password for this team. So first of all, we need to create a username password. To set up username password, we need to create a super user. And in order to create a super user, I'm going to launch a separate command for that CD desktop cd and it's my site cd my site and to create a super user i write manage dot py and sync db when we create sync db it says for migration and it says would you like to create one because this d django we don't have any super user defined right now do you want to create a new one I write here yes. You need to type yes. Full. Why will not work? Yes. It asks for a username. By default, username is BISP. If you want to use the same name, simply press enter. Email address. So I write BISP at gmail.com. Password. So it says super user created successfully. Now, in order to test it, I'll switch back to my Django administration. And here I enter username, BISP, and password, and log. So as you can see here, we have successfully logged in into our Django admin site administration folder. But I'm not able to create a new site here. So in order to in order to create a new site, we need to customize the site folder. When we open my site, we can see we have setting URL. And we have got compiled Python file and the Python file. So I select site settings, right click on settings, and X right click and edit with IDLE and scroll down. And you see we have installed app. So I just copy this path, copy this text, and here I, I remove this text and I simply enter size. Save it. And close it. So if we'll see the text, it says uh, we have applied unapplied migrations. So I can quit this. Again, I apply migration here. Migrate just for the changes, what whatever changes we have done, just to migrate them, and then again run server. 
and now when I run server if I refresh it you can see we have got site option and we can add a new site from there. so this is how we can add a site but let's suppose I want to create my own block within D Django so to create our own block I open the command prompt and within this command prompt I type a message command manage dot py start app block and enter so within this my site folder you can see a new folder has been created it's a block and this block contains admin models test and view so basically blog is like an MVC model so we have got model view and controller files are here and uh, let's customize it and uh, just take an example to create a new blog so because I want to create a new blog over there so as we have models file so I will edit this model file and within this model I type here I just create a model file here and I write class person models dot model declare variables name is equal to models dot care field name comma max underscore length is equal to 100 then I want email is equal to models dot email field email comma and I'll set email blank is equal to true it means we can in the blank blank data is allowed we have headshot basically this headshot is used to upload the images upload the files image file so headshot is equal to models dot image field so if you did if you execute this command if you execute your command file and if you did not if you get an error for hotshot headshot you need to install simple using same command pip install headshot and it will this headshot will be successfully installed on your so image field and let here upload to is equal to img comma blank X is equal to model dot XP and that's the description, EDSC description and maximum underscore length of the five hundred blank. So this we have to define the model, then I'm going to define the modules within this so that we can use this module str self and it will return return self dot and I fix it or simply save, save it then I open this admin.py admin.py and within this admin.py we need to go right here from and if you see this model this model is within the block so right here I need to I want to import this person class by this admin from blog dot models import person and register your model here admin dot site dot register and this is what save it so we have created this one now one more change we need to do is we need to go to my site and within my site open my settings and within my settings so as you can see here we have added sites and users and groups so I need to add a blog here so in order to do that I simply write here blog name so what is the blog name so our blog name is here this that's done save it and 
We are getting error messages. Simple. First of all, we need to migrate. We can see here we are getting class model. So that's the error. So let's move on. Uh, these are small, small errors which you need to be make sure that's the error. There are no errors successfully run and let's test it. So when I refresh it, you can see a blog has been added and the blog name we have got person and I can successfully create records into it. I can insert records into it. So insert record, I click on add and I can insert my name, email, training, headshot, choose a file. This is for image file basically. So I load this logo, PNG logo and description. We want to add a description. We can add a description, and we can add we can add multiple blocks. Save and add another. So I'll save and add another. So we are getting an error message because the no such operation block person. We are getting this block person error. So no worries about that. We simply save it, and uh, let me check the error. So these are the errors you will definitely get a little. If you are getting these errors, you need to solve these errors. So you can see here while. Saving this, we are getting an error, and the error is uh, the error we were getting here is because the data model does not exist. So you can see here what I have done. First of all, I have again synchronized the database here, manage.bysyncdb, and when I when I synchronize the database, it again asks to migrate the changes. So again, I run here, manage.by make migrations. So it creates a model person, and now I can again sync db. When I sync db. Changes will be done successfully. Now I can run server. We can run server here again. Manage dot py server. And now if I try to save the record, the record will create successfully. So these are the minor changes which you need to be take care. And if you want to add another person, we can add person plus Sam. Sam at the rate gb com. Choose file, and we can add uh, another file. Let's say I add here green and open. Description. If you want to add any description and save it. So now, if I'll get back to my home, you can see we have person. So you can see the recent actions here. Recent, all the recent actions will be listed on the on this side. And we can click on person. We can see the person. I can click on Sam. See the records. If I want to delete it, we can delete it from here as well. Or we can, if I want to make the changes, we can click on it. And we can, if I just wanted to clear the file, I don't want to. Delete the record. I just want to clear the file. I can click on it, and we can save it. So the file will be cleared. Next time when you open, you can see there is there is no file chosen because it is not mandatory. So there is no need for uh, file. The file is not required. So like this, we can create a blog. We can create our own blog, and how this we can add new blog, new records into that blog, and we can add a site here. So there is a default site, example.com. That's the domain name. And change site, so that's the site. Basically, we can add and change it. So that is how we can create our own. We can launch a site using the Django, and how we can create a blog into it. How we can create a model and customize it. That's all in this tutorial. If you have any queries, if you have any doubts, you can visit our website www.bispetrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for videos on Python. You can visit to us for customized training on Python. I will be coming up with some new videos on Python. Till then, have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.